This segment sponsored by Earl May. Good morning and welcome back. Well, it's time to get back outside in our yards, our gardens. Yeah, we're not going to be taking care of any plants, but we do have a few feathered friends that we need to help out this time of year. So I came to the expert, Mark Toms, and Mark, you know, you guys have all the plants, all the seed, you name it, but you also kind of you have a little help for the birds as well this time of year, because a lot of people still like to get out and enjoy nature, even in the cold. Yeah, people like to get out. Um, with the holidays just passed and so forth, a lot of folks got a lot of bird feeders mm -hmm. for gifts and all that. And it's just a fun hobby mm -hmm. uh, during our January and February months when there's not much to do is, is attracting the birds and, and, and keep them well fed. I actually have a friend who like, she works with some organization where she has to keep track of what types of birds visit her feeder and she keeps a record of it and like sends it into them. Fun. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, maybe yeah. we should try that. Maybe I should take it up. Okay, so, is all seed the same for Not birds? Not all seed is the same. Okay. Um, so a couple of important factors to remember during the winter months is, is keeping fresh water out for your birds, all right? Okay. That's how, when they keep their feathers clean and all that, that's how they stay warm. They need clean feathers mm -hmm. and so forth to stay warm. So in your bird baths, however you may be having it, um, when it's starting to freeze up and our, our temperatures are cool, we've got a nice little de-icer, runs on power, set that in your bird bath. That'll, that'll thaw the water that's mm -hmm. in your bird bath so that they can have that fresh water, not only to keep clean, but also to drink as well, right? Okay, so All you right? can keep that water yep. fresh and flowing. And so that's important for them. And then protein and energy, and, and a lot of your suet cakes that you have for your birds, mm -hmm. that'll provide that for them, whether it might be um, your woodpeckers or your blue jays and all that, um, they need that protein to keep that energy, help okay. them keep warm during the winter months. So the suet is protein. It's protein, yep. Okay. And you just put it in your suet feeder and you hang it in your tree or put it out there with your bird feeders as well. Okay. Um, and then also when you're out there, uh, like you were talking about the different foods, you got your songbird blend there. Yeah, I see this your, back here. Yep, that's a great wild bird mix okay. for your, your blue jays, your cardinals, your chickadees, your mm -hmm. nut hatches. All those are around here during the winter months. Okay. Um, have a few finches that are still around and those are around here as well. And, and here's a nice little finch feeder. I mean, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. They'll have a little bit smaller openings for them to feed in versus your wild bird feeders, mm -hmm. which have the larger openings. And just another good tip for, and along with your water and all that during the months is make sure you're keeping your bird feeders nice and clean. Sometimes they'll get a little moldy and all that and your food's not being drained out of there well enough, so you okay. may have to empty it, all right? And put yeah, it, it might fresh be back clogged in. or it something. It might be clogged, okay. exactly. So. Remember that as well. And um, and then this is another nice little feeder I like showing everybody. This is just kind of a, su a tray and so forth that you can hang out there, keep your wild bird feed in there okay. as well. And then if you got some extra space, if you want to attract some additional birds, make sure you can keep a, a birdhouse out there for them as well. So mm -hmm. clean water, yep. fresh food, keep your feeders nice and clean, provide some type of shelter for them if you want as well. Okay, that all sounds right. good. Yeah, so there's some way to bring in some beauty even with snow bring on the ground beauty. and all that. I mean, because you got to think about all the ground, if it might be covered with snow. Snow or, covered I mean, and all although that. this year it's questionable, but. <laughs> We're going to get it. Yeah, you just I know, wait. we need some of that moisture, don't we? That's exactly right. Yeah. So keep fresh water out for them. Keep fresh food out there for them. Enjoy it, like you're, we said with your friend. Mm -hmm. Play a little game with it and see what kind of birds that you can track out to the backyard. Okay, that sounds good. All right, Mark, well, thank you for all these ideas and suggestions with keeping your feathered friends well-fed and clean this winter. We'll be back just after this.